Hello, this is Renee. Welcome back. I just wanted to tap into some energy with my cards. I know I've been doing a lot of channeled messages lately because I've been feeling a lot of energy. There's been a lot of energy. So I just wanted to give you a reading real quick. Right now I'm using the Island Time Wellness Tarot. And we'll use the the black for the masculine and the pink for the feminine okay so got them shuffled and see what's going on with the feminine what's going on with your energy <laughs> keys on the ring feminine are you having new options coming your way are you making new decisions? And I've been feeling in the energy a lot of attention coming your way by means of other masculines or other, you know, whether you're feminine or masculine, I feel like you're getting a lot more attention. <laughs> There's a lot of people trying to get time with you. Let's tap into some more energy for the feminine. The snake. Okay. Yep, feminine, I feel like there's someone around you who's probably trying to manipulate you. <laughs> it could be one or two of these masculines who's trying to get your attention. They're trying to do it in a very manipulative way. They're trying to gain your attention, maybe by doing sneaky stuff, right? And you need to be aware of that. There's someone being sneaky in your energy. So it's time to be observant, okay? Be observant for a snake that's around you. Or someone who wants to be in competition with you. So this, if, if you're... If your person has a third party or a counterfeit, you know, this person is in competition with you. They're being compared to you. And I don't think they measure up. They can't measure up. Your person is seeing them as very sneaky and lying. They're seeing them as nothing like you at all. And I think that they're finally seeing that there's no way that they can replace you. What did I say? Twin flames. Yeah, you could be dealing with a twin flame situation, a soulmate situation. Um, definitely. Definitely your person is comparing whoever they're seeing at the moment to you. And they're they're seeing and understanding that the bond that you have with this person is totally unbreakable. No matter how they try to escape their feelings, no matter how they try to escape their emotions, they're brought back to your situation, to your connection. It's like they they can't break free, right? And I'm feeling a lot of, yeah, soulmates in paradise. So the person that you're dealing with, they know that this is a strong connection. They know that it's unbreakable. And they're trying to make their way back to you because this person wants happiness. This person wants the joy that they feel when they're with you. You know, they want to be able to enjoy you. I feel like this person has been doing a lot of fantasizing. And in their mind, their fantasies are so real and so intense. You know, they, <laughs> they can't get past the emotion. Give me one more card for the feminine. They can't get past this emotion. 
this bond that they have with you. It feels like it feels like when they're able to come back to it, it feels like it's gonna start right where it left off. You know, like there's been nothing negative between you. Photographs. Yeah, your person's been checking up on you. They've been looking at old pictures, old photographs, listening to old messages, um, reading old texts. But the person, your person, is thinking about you intensely. They they can't escape the thoughts of you. And I feel like they try to do this while they're working. They try to do this with the other person, with family, with hobbies. They try to kind of cover up and try to put on the back burner their feelings for you. And they're not able to. They're just drawn back to you. They're drawn back to your situation, to your essence, to everything that you brought into their life. And I feel like they're finally noticing that everything that you brought into their life has been on such a positive level that they haven't felt feelings that have been this intense. But they definitely can't get their mind off of you. They're not going anywhere. We have Chaser on the bottom. They're going to start trying to communicate. They want to rebuild your relationship. And I feel like they're they're going to be making moves very, very quickly. And I feel like they're going to come out of surprise. The, these moves are going to come out of nowhere. Let's go ahead and take a look at their energy all together. Of course, and what pops out first, the runner. They finally realized that they ran from this situation and I feel like they're having such deep regret for running from you, from feeling like they betrayed you, feeling like they couldn't give you this intimacy that they felt like you required. You know, they were listening to their pride and ego instead of following their heart. And I feel like they're finally realizing that that was the wrong move. That was not the right direction to go. And I feel a deep depression in this person. You know, it could be that they're spending a lot of time alone. I feel like, you know, with this person, although they may be in another connection or another situation, they're spending a lot of time alone. They're spending a lot of time just reflecting and thinking about you. And I don't think, I don't think you, you're aware of that because I think that from the outside looking in, they look very happy. They look very you know, content, like they're giving this new connection a lot of attention, but they're not. They're really not. They're keeping this new connection at the arm's length, you know, because they feel like they can't trust this person. Yeah, they're, they're totally self-absorbed. They're this, if they are in a new situation, it's totally one-sided. It's totally one-sided. You know, they could have love bombed this person in the beginning just like they did, but it's a total one-sided situation. This is the situation that this that your person is putting them in is a feeling of lack. Totally. You know, it's like 
because there's no feelings involved there's no deep feelings your person had deep feelings for you and that's what made them run and the counterpart or the third party they're not getting that they're not getting those deep emotions like you did you know there's just excitement in the moment but as soon as this person leaves the sight of your person <laughs> they're not even thought of you are the only person on this person's mind very interesting let's go a little bit deeper give me another card the hammer you know they feel like they sabotage the situation um they feel like they totally fucked up i'm gonna be totally honest with you they feel like they totally messed up your situation like they totally sabotaged it and now they have so much regrets but they're they're willing to work on it they're willing to work on themselves and unfortunately for most masculines they learn by doing so they're gonna mess up time and time again but they're gonna finally learn the lesson they're finally going to have that realization but that realization is gonna come with heartbreak you know so when this person comes back they may come back heartbroken they may come back feeling very broken you know like they totally betrayed someone that gave them more than anyone ever has hmm. one more card please love call I feel like you're gonna get a call out of the blue you're gonna get a call a text a message you may even receive a pop-up visit but this is gonna be someone who's gonna be giving you a call and it's coming out of nowhere and it's typically typically because you're so deep in their thoughts they're thinking about you it's like they can't hold back too much longer so not that it's going to be a big surprise to you since you know that you know they may be calling but it's going to be very unexpected and i feel like your person is going to be coming in with communication and when they come in with this communication they're going to want to open up on everything that they've been through not that they want to cry on your shoulder but they want to let you know the reason why things were doing things that have been done yeah they're making decisions and you got the same card so i feel like you know just like you have options you have many options and you are attracting new people they are too you know they may have many options available to them but what i'm feeling from this card is that they're making decisions they may try to cheat on the third party with someone else because they see that this this new situation that they've got themselves in isn't erasing their thoughts of you your thoughts are still there they're not going anywhere you know and i feel like they they kind of figure that you know well maybe this person just isn't it maybe they they definitely can't take my mind off of my person so you know like i said they're learning the lessons and they learn by doing so have patience but keep living your life feminine don't sit around waiting enjoy your life and love yourself first Ooh. 
Yeah, we have two. Okay. We have ascending and lightning. So, yeah, definitely this masculine may have a sudden, a very sudden ascension. This could be a very sudden awakening, a very sudden realization, and there may also be a very sudden change in your person, a very sudden change in the situation. This is like the equivalent of a, a tower moment, you know, something that's going to bring me big change. And, you know, and I, I do believe that it involves you. So don't be surprised when this person comes back and it's very spontaneous. Where this person was not able to make a concrete decision in the past, it's like it hits them like a bolt of lightning that this is what I need to do. This is where I need to go. This is who I need to be with. And I feel like they're going through this sudden awakening but they're learning new things they're, they're moving into this new cycle and this is bringing expansion and ascension to your person so it's very beautiful energy at the bottom we have the engagement ring now I'm not saying that this person is going to propose but they definitely may provide you with some sort of new commitment you know, and there will definitely be some sort of union or reunion in the near future. Because your person misses you. They miss you greatly. You know, they, they feel like they've tried to replace you. They've tried to, you know, put people ahead of you. But, you know... The people around them are very sneaky, very conniving. They feel very used. You know, they don't feel appreciated. They don't feel that love that, sh that you show them. So it's very interesting. And <laughs> see, what did I say? Yeah, they feel stabbed in the back. They feel very heartbroken that they left you. And your person is healing. They're trying to find their exit plan. They're trying to find a way out because they want to feel free, you know. That's the reason why they ran because they felt trapped and they want to feel free. They don't want to feel like they're bound to anything and there's definitely going to be some sort of breakup in this situation. Wow. Very interesting very interesting well that's what i have for you so prepare for communication definitely prepare for communication and it may be a small communication at first they may just ask to speak to you ask for your advice um try to find any door open to make a way in so don't be surprised if it sounds a little corny or if it sounds you know too good to be true take a step back and evaluate okay my feminines that's what i have for you be ready for communication in some way or form many blessings to you love and light